Alright, good afternoon, Teach Now. This is your host, Neville Boone, and um, I'm doing my case study, study on a, a gentleman by the name of Matthew P. Um, of course, this is um, module, uh, module 8, Unit 2. Uh, and again, my name is Neville Boone. Alright, our, our case study content is broken down into six parts. We have the student profile, we have the school and academic history, we have behavior challenges and plans of actions, my position, and my cohorts positions, which is pretty much questions I have for my cohorts that make it help uh, enhance my, my classroom experience. My student is, is named Matthew P. Matthew P is a great kid, a wonderful student. See, Matthew P, his student pro profile consists of, uh, he's in the 10th grade, he, he attends uh, Croton High School. Matthew P is classified as a student with disabilities that can affect learning. Matthew is legally blind and has a hearing impairment. Matthew also has low level ADHD, but he functions well with the entire class. Matthew P is a wonderful student. He likes art, music, and all sorts of gaming. Matthew comes from a loving family. His father and mother have exceedingly high expectations for Matthew, and Matthew is very bubbly, exciting to be around, and a pure joy. Matthew had a very hard time in elementary school since he had delay in speech. Matthew also had a hard time explaining to his parents that he could not see since he was delayed in speech. According to Matthew P, teachers and physicians had a very hard time understanding him since he had delayed speech and his behavior did not help things as well. See, according to Matthew, since he could not see and could not talk, a lot of times he would walk up to the front of the board and copy information. This led to him barely passing the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade until his teacher, Mr. Smith, took the time to ask Smith, uh, Matthew, uh, why was he interrupting the class? And Matthew perfectly stated that he could not see. You see, Matthew is a very nice and kind student. The only behavior challenges I have noticed is while he was working on some of his, uh, some of his assignments, he glares around from the screen to help his eyes rest. He also does not like to wear his bifocal glasses in class, and he has not displayed any aggression or any negative connotation. Matthew P is very forgetful, and he, he requires extra time with his work. My plan of action is to first have Matthew sit directly close to my, uh, close to me in the front, and I also encourage Matthew P to put on his glasses, repeat instructions, and encourage Matthew to tell me if I am going too fast while I am going over my instructions. And I also display power, uh, PowerPoint uh, presentations in a larger form. Matthew P, as from my position, is courageous young man. I've never met a more courageous and positive, uh, positive person like I have with Matthew. I want to continue to establish a kind of rewarding friendship with Matthew because I believe we all can learn from his strength, determination, and willingness to accept, to not accept failure as an option. Parent intervention, intervention is not needed, psychosis is not needed, behavior specialist is not needed. If this world was made up with more Matthew P's, then we would have a world that would be courageous, thoughtful, and have the willingness to accomplish anything. I learned so much from Matthew. So these are the, the questions I have for my core. What are some things I could implement to help Matthew achieve even more in my class? Do you feel I should or should not cater to or implement more teaching strategies for Matthew P? How would you establish your classroom or help modify lessons to increase or enhance Matthew P knowledge? How do you personally feel about Matthew? And how can I become a better teacher for all students? How can I use more differentiated assignments to help all students? So far, this has been, it's been my case study. I really enjoyed doing this case study. And um, thank you very much, all. And have a wonderful day. This is Devil Boom, signing off.